Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to this series on AI uh, in testing. Now, if you missed our previous video, uh, we talked about how to uh, install or set up uh, Copilot and then get started using uh, Copilot. Also, we talked about the internal architecture, how it works, um, and then uh, we also looked at what are the, some of the use cases uh, which could be useful, especially uh, in the field of software testing. Now uh, we will jump right into the actual use cases uh, we have been discussing about. So we'll start off with the first use case, uh, which is basically to write test cases. And uh, we'll use the requirements uh, to write these test cases, but uh, with the AI Copilot. Now we'll see two different scenarios. Um, so first we'll see um, how can we use Copilot to write test cases right from a requirements document. And then we will also see uh, how we can write the test cases without even a requirement document. So if you want to use uh, any particular website um, and you can ask the copilot to go through it and then um, write test cases based uh, on whatever context you want to provide. So uh, these are the two uh, use cases. So let's get into it. Let's uh, start the copilot and let's see how we can uh, perform these two particular use cases, which could be useful in a real world scenario, right? So you don't need to now depend uh, or analyze the requirements and then find out the scenarios or go through um, the Excel sheets or Jira to write your test cases. Uh, you can ask Copilot to do all of this. So now uh, coming back to Copilot, now the best part of Copilot is uh, we can run it from anywhere, right? Because if you're using the M365 Cloud, you can launch it from any browser, any operating system. And uh, I'm doing the same now. So uh, now we need to use Copilot to generate our test cases from requirements document or directly from an application. First, uh, let's uh, look at a business requirement document, uh, which I have prepared. So let's open this. And here you can see um, it is a very generic business requirement document, which has got the application details. It's a e-commerce application and it has got a URL. It has got a specification, which has got different business requirements uh, with the priority and uh, some IDs, right? So this is how a generic business requirement uh, document looks like. Uh, it could vary depending on uh, different uh, teams uh, following different patterns, but uh, this is what uh, it should uh, mostly look like, right? Now we are going to use this to generate different test cases with the help of uh, the AI Copilot. So uh, for that, uh, we will go back to Copilot and now, uh, we need to use it as a context. And to do that, uh, we need to first attach it uh, in here, right? So I can upload it from this device. I can attach even cloud files if I want. So let's uh, attach it from here. So I'm going to select this. And now uh, this is attached as some context, which is in the form of a document. Now, apart from this, uh, we also need to write some uh, context which we want to provide uh, in order to generate this test cases. So I've got a pre-written context, uh, but obviously this context can vary depending on your requirements. So let's use a pre-written context. So I have copied it and I'm going to paste it here. Now let's try and understand what this context is all about, right? So first uh, we are telling Copilot that it is a senior software tester. Uh, that's his role, uh, and it specializes in e-commerce platforms. Now, uh, his task is to generate a comprehensive set of test cases uh, based on the following business requirements document. And then the test cases should reflect best practices in software testing, cover all critical aspects of the e-commerce application. Uh, it should include functional test cases. Now, we have also mentioned some of the scenarios which it should cover. And then the test case types, uh, these could be positive, negative, boundary edge cases, data-driven variations, uh, UI UX validations, integration points, and then the test case format, right? So I have provided some structured format which it should follow. And then um, we are also saying the test cases should be clear and professional, reusable and maintainable, 
uh, mapped to specific requirement ID, and then it should be suitable for a test management tool. Uh, we can also provide it a specific tool like Jira, and then uh, use language and structure that reflects the expertise of a senior tester, and uh, it provides clarity for both technical and non-technical stakeholders. Now, this is a very in-depth uh, context which is provided to the AI tool. It has got all the details um, based on my requirements. And this is the type of context which will give you the best possible result, right? So uh, let's go ahead and provide this to the AI tool here, as you can see. And then Copilot will start uh, providing the test cases you can see here. Uh, first, it is generating the functional test cases for product search and filtering based on a tabular structure. Then, for all the other scenarios, it will start providing uh, with the test case ID. And then uh, it has also included all of these scenarios uh, which we have specified earlier. Okay. So now it is asking us uh, whether we want to export it to Excel. Um, and then it is also asking you, uh, can you add more test cases? So if you want more test cases, you can ask it to generate more. Um, so if I say to export it to Excel, okay, so as you can see, uh, this is the Excel file uh, with structured test cases for e-commerce application. We can go ahead and download it. Um, if you want, we can also format it for Jira import. If you want to import it into Jira test management tool, um, we can add more type of test cases like performance testing strategies or a specific to mobile. So you can generate uh, whatever is your requirement. And obviously this may not be perfect in the first go, but uh, you can always refine them based on your requirements, right? So go through them if you want to add more test steps or you want to add more different preconditions um, based on whatever context you provide to the AI tool, it will provide you with the required uh, information based on the pre-knowledge which it has and based on what context we provide. So this is one way of generating um, test cases from a requirements document. You can obviously, um, provide it as a text, you can provide it as a document, or you can provide it even as images or PDFs, right? So whatever form you have, uh, the business requirements, you can just provide it uh, to the AI tool, and then it can go ahead and generate the test cases for you. So uh, let's start a new prompt. So we can always start a new chat right from here. So the previous conversations will anyways be stored on the left-hand side. You can access it from anytime you want. So now uh, let's try to do it a little different way, okay? So this is my context. Um, as you can see, I am now providing it a different way of writing the test case, but now I'm asking it to analyze the web application. I've given it the URL, uh, it's a demo website, and then generate a comprehensive set of test cases, consider all possible user interactions, edge cases, negative scenarios, uh, performance, accessibility, uh, and I'm asking it to group it uh, by functional modules uh, based on all the different functionality, right? Uh, I'm giving it preconditions to consider and then also what scenarios to consider. Um, the primary goal is to have maximum coverage and also to ensure that the robustness of the source demo application is maintained, right? So these are the things which um, you can consider as a software tester when you are going to write your test cases. So I'm doing the same uh, with Copilot, right? So I'm not going to attach any content or any document right now. It is purely based on whatever information I provided along with the URL of the web application, right? So I'm going to now uh, give this context as you can see here. And now it is going to generate for different modules. Okay, so it is grouping it based on the modules. Um, so first is the login module, then uh, it has got different scenarios. And then we have got the product catalog. And then we have got the cart module, checkout module, and 
We have got the cross-browser and responsive behavior, so which includes browser compatibility, um, responsive design. We have got security checks, uh, accessibility compliance. So we have got all different types of test cases, right? And this time around, you can see we have got more test cases because we have provided more different types of testing to consider. So there are around 26 test cases, right? Again, uh, we can either uh, export it into different formats uh, based on our requirement, Excel or PDF. Uh, we can integrate it into a test management tool, even test trail. Uh, we can add more test cases. So we can export it as a PDF. And this time around, let's see how that particular PDF looks like. And this time around, I will try to open that PDF, uh, which it will export, just to make sure that it is exported uh, in the right format, right? So you can just click on the link and then it should be downloading that particular PDF. Um, as, as you can see, uh, it has got all the different scenario or test cases. Obviously we have seen earlier, it can also generate it in the tabular format. So this is how you can use Copilot for this particular use case, which is to generate uh, test cases with requirement document or specific requirements. Um, this is obviously the first step in the software testing lifecycle. Once you get the requirements, you have to think about the scenarios and then you have to uh, create your test cases uh, in any format, right? So Copilot is basically um, like a software tester which is sitting beside you and then you are feeding all the information to him and uh, it is trying to emulate uh, all the information uh, taking it in and then processing based on whatever information it has uh, and providing it uh, in a matter of few seconds. So as you can see, the benefits of using AI, now um, instead of taking maybe a couple of hours or a couple of days to design all the scenarios, if I have all the information, I can do it in a matter of few seconds. So that's all about uh, our first use case. Uh, well, uh, we have got a list of other use cases. So our next use case uh, is to generate the automation test scripts. And uh, we are going to use this PDF, which uh, has been generated by Copilot uh, as the different test cases. So we'll use it to generate our automation test cases in um, any language or any particular framework. So we'll see all that in our next video. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope it was useful. We'll continue with a lot more AI tools and use cases. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that like button if you are interested to learn more about AI tools and how to use it uh, in testing.